The cost of travel is one of the biggest questions that we get asked when we do these vid videos for YouTube. So today we're going to walk around in Zagreb and see just how expensive Croatia is. So if you're passing through here on a holiday or if you plan on spending a bit longer, like a couple of weeks or a month like us, this hopefully should summarize everything that you'll need to know and be interesting regardless if you want to visit or not. We spent the last few weeks exploring Zagreb and showing, uploading videos and showing how cool it really is. This is fast becoming one of our favorite cities and definitely one of our favorites in Europe as well. Um, because we're gonna be staying for just shy of a month, we've got an Airbnb which is only uh, 27 US dollars per night, which is just ridiculous in the first place. Um, and we thought it'd be interesting to share some of the cost of what we're experiencing just through day to day. Try and cover off everything from sort of food, um, I'll go to the supermarket, I'm ready to go to the gym so I'll show you what the gym looks like and the cost what, for what that is coffees and sort of other bits and pieces that we find along the way while we're while we're exploring um, speaking of Airbnb though uh, We've mentioned this before, but there'll be a code below if you want to get 40 US dollars off your um, signing up for Airbnb will come off your first stay, or if you're going to be staying in a hotel, if you've got a trip coming up, check the link below as well because uh, we've got 25 US dollars um, off hotel stay as well. So look for those below, but I'll show you what 27 US dollars gets you in Zagreb in an apartment. As soon as you walk in and you've got the wardrobes on the right here, it opens up straight away. There's like the lounge or the living space and everything here. And behind stays right now, this is like the dumping ground of the chairs and everything that haven't made the cut, so we've freed up space for the rest of it. And then once you walk around this way, then off to your right bathroom. Really, really nice. So this whole place has been done up. Uh, big open windows looking out across to the cathedral that we can see. And then bed behind. And then through this way is the kitchen and workspace. So it might be a small kitchen and a small like in terms of floor space but having a table that we can have our laptop set up on is really great and then we've been doing a bunch of cooking here we have found that the the costs here are probably a little bit more expensive than we have found in other places in europe in particular because we've done a lot of eastern europe so in our other videos like this one when we cover the costs um they if you compared the two you'd see that they're definitely a little bit higher here but what we're going to do now is um, before I go and show off the gym and the cost there and supermarket there's just downstairs or just in one of the little neighboring blocks there's like an open courtyard that we can get some coffees so we want to see with something that's a little bit more local what the cost of coffee is there because normally we've seen them from like 18 to 20 for like a flat white or latte style so uh, be curious to see what yeah what the cost is downstairs definitely something that we love about Europe just walked out um, in between that little archway there and now there's this big open courtyard a little little like almost like a little park in behind and there's all these buildings that back onto it a little seating area here some street art and stuff up around this way and then so there's all of these outer buildings some older apartment complexes this way taller ones up here and then through over this side apparently there's a little playground and a coffee shop it's just epic Europe does this so well just these social areas where people will just come and hang out as expected a lot cheaper these are 22 in total so I'm only paying 11 and this is a coffee with milk though which is definitely the more local way to order essentially like a latte or like a flat white I suppose um, they did sell lattes and they were 13 each so that is still about seven kuna cheaper than the more touristy places so a lot of the prices that we'll show today will be the more touristy spots because essentially I mean we are travelers right so we, we don't always have access to the local spots like this but it's good to know that if you do go off the travel path you can save 
significant amount, almost 50% on the cost by going local instead of touristy. And even still, this feels like it's definitely a sort of commercial local experience, if that sort of makes sense. But I'm gonna take these upstairs, we're gonna get these, and then I'm gonna to go to the gym. So I'll put this camera down, I'll show some footage from my phone, uh, and then go to the supermarket, and um, I'll just play the, the costs on the screen. Not exactly perfect uh, post-gym, post-workout food, but I just stopped off at a random uh, bakery on the way back. Picked up a ham and cheese sandwich, which was, uh, which is this one, 14.50 kuna. A salami, like a uh, French looking thin breadstick roll, that was 9.50. And then this bad boy was 6.50. We've had something like this before, it's a Croatian thing like a hot um, pastry type thing and then on the inside is cheese and it is like crispy and a little bit of like oil sort of taste going on in there but then a really really nice cheese on the inside as well and this one is actually hot 650 kuna those of you with an eagle eye would have noticed up until this point <laughs> Stacey, my isn't amazing it? face wasn't in the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> I was just finishing up some projects and also... That was yesterday as well, by the way. Sorry, yeah, that was yesterday. And also we've just decided that tomorrow we're going to go to Slovenia for the weekend. <laughs> How random is that? <laughs> just on a dime, we've got our last weekend in Zagreb and we thought we have to do something cool. And so we've just quickly decided yesterday afternoon and booked just this morning. Yeah. And sorry, let's swap sides because the light. And booked just this morning, so we're going to go to Ljubljana. So that the next videos you'll see will be two or three that we'll do on this quick mission. But um, yeah, so because it's the next day, now we're going to go out, look at some menus and get some lunch. Oh, sorry. We also need to sort out some SIM cards because we need some um, data. data, which will help with roaming. It's definitely not difficult to find a variety of different food options in the city. There's a juice side, um, like sandwich type bar back here and then burger looks like it's about 25 kuna and then there's a small juice for about 15. There's a bakery just over the way over here and it looks like everything in there is pretty much like 5 to 7 kuna. Sandwiches are more like 8. So the ver it depends on what you want because then if you come further down this way down into the square uh, or just down into the laneway here. A whole bunch of more shops and stuff and it looks like uh, there's a food court in there so I might wander in try and catch some prices but I get the feeling it's quite a small alleyway so I'll just put the prices on the screen so you can get a feel but for the most part you can go e anywhere from like an expensive restaurant where you can get like a local strictly for example what we got recently and that was like 40 kuna that's getting right up there most of the other stuff you're looking about 15 to 20 ish but I'll, uh, I'll nip down here and I'll go inside and see what the options are in there and see if there's any like desserts and stuff as well We got our phone plan sorted. We got uh, was it five, we got five gigs of data. Five gigs, yeah. I can't remember how much was it. I'll put it on the screen. I'll <laughs> put it on the screen. So we're all sorted now. That was really easy. They were really nice and friendly in there too. Um, it was only like five minutes or ten minutes maybe. Yeah, and there was also like a weekly rate. 
they talked us through everything. But yeah, we've got our five gigs and now we're gonna go and grab some lunch. menu at a more expensive place. Passes and stuff are like 70 which is definitely getting up there. 70 kuna. Piece of fish right the way up to 110. Um, salads and everything look like they're about 20 kuna. Desserts 20. So we walked around for a little while. We wanted to find something healthy and we came across a spot called Good Food. Good food. Yeah. And was it two, two Caesar salads and a Coke. Coke Zero. 500 mil to be exact was 88 tuna. So that was pretty decent. Like it is getting up there in terms of prices because that's not local, so that's always going to be the case. But yeah. either way, I think that about wraps up about as, about as many prices as we can squeeze into one video. Hopefully, this is helpful. Thank you for making it this far into the video as well. Most people don't. <laughs> I'm supposed to tell everybody. <laughs> um, yeah, make sure you've got notifications on because our next videos will be the ones that uh, when we're off to Ljubljana, which <laughs> we're, I'm, I'm rushing that. We'll get it right at some <laughs> stage. We're excited for. So, thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you in the